Hey everyone, happy Monday night. Um, it is a little after 8.30. This is the first opportunity I've had all day to do our first five minute mini session. So um, this technique is gonna be a wet on wet technique with watercolor. So I have my watercolor paints, a couple of paint brushes, container of water, paper towel, and I've got some pretty thick watercolor paper. Um, it works best if you use watercolor paper, but you can do this on like um, some thicker paper as well. Um, I've even done it on drawing paper before and it still works. It just crinkles and warps a little bit more than usual. So um, work with what you've got or just follow along. It's pretty fun. Um, so, so far, you probably can't see it, but I have three hearts that are very lightly drawn on here um, using a pencil. And I like to work very, very light with watercolor because once you put it on there, you can't really erase it. Um, and the key here is I have all of the hearts touching. So they're all touching in at least one spot. And that is very important because I'm gonna be doing each one a different color. And then where they touch is gonna bleed and blend. Um, so, wet on wet means we start with water first. So I'm going to put water on my heart. Don't know if you will be able to really, again, see pretty much any of this until I get the color on, but oh, there's a little glare there. You should be able to see that. Okay. So, since it is a wet technique, I try to work fairly quickly, which kind of, again, helps towards this idea of five minute sessions. So art that you can do quickly and efficiently in five minutes-ish. I will say ish because I am going to be doing lots of talking, so I could probably do this quicker, but the video will probably end up being longer than five minutes. So we'll do a little glare here so you can kind of see my three hearts. Alrighty, I'm gonna go in and start adding some colors. So I'm gonna work with some colors that are gonna be um, really friendly when blended together, like they're gonna make pretty, pretty mixtures. I really wanna stick away from putting two complementary colors next to each other. Anybody that works with color theory can tell you that complementary colors will make brown. And we do not want brown you're doing pretty hearts so um, I'm going to paint this blue and then I'm going to take some blue you can see it's already bleeding here but I'm going to load it up right here on that edge and I'm also going to load it up a little bit here and on the bottom um, just to give it some variety you can see it is already bleeding into there so Next one I'm going to put next to it is a pink. Um, the pink and the blue are going to look really pretty next to each other. Um, so right now I'm going to do this whole side. I'm going to do this side that's clean so that I don't muddy up the rest of my pink color by getting too close to the blue right now. So pink, pink, pink. And watch this. This is fun. I love watching them just kind of sprawl out and, and bleed. It's just a really fun technique. So wet on wet is what this is called. When you work with watercolors, this is one of the most fun. All right, now time to load up right here close to the blue. And we are going to watch it bleed, blend, and mix. Okay, it's kind of pooling down here a little bit, so I'm going to pull that up. Okay, load up there again. Okay. Now, one thing you'll notice is my paper, even though it is watercolor paper, is warping a little bit. Ooh, there we go, check that out. Um, that is because I did not tape it down. It's in this thick notebook, so I don't really tape it down, um, but you could if you if you wanted to. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna go into a purple. Um, I know that blue and pink 
kind of already make a bit of a purple, but I feel like sticking with these kind of love heart valentine e colors and especially with it being valentine's day ooh, 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 again talk about the bleeding hold on here i'm only using my finger because i don't have enough time to get to my paper towel here we go okay again that is a little bit of the issue with my paper warping so, um, if you are working with watercolor paper, best tip of advice I can give you is to tape your paper down. Step one, tape your paper down. But sometimes when you are working and you are, what, considered an expert in your field? I'm just kidding, I'm not an expert. Um, you forget the basics. Basic step number one, tape down your paper. All right, so load up here let it kind of go in I don't need to really fill this one with a lot again because I'm working with that warping and I don't really want it to go too crazy so you can see it's about to drip again I'm gonna do another little technique which is soak up some of the water and stuff with the paper towel Ta -da! all right so let's see how I did Ooh, look at that see now that is really pretty Okay, um, so I'm actually really satisfied with this. This is looking nice. Um, I do want, I think, a little more blue here in my pink. Hopefully I don't ruin this. But I think I'm going to just put a little bit of blue right here along the edge so that it goes into the pink. Because I have pink going in my blue, but I don't really have it going back in that direction. So I'm just going to dab... So it blends and bleeds a little bit more right there. And then that, I just went in with some water so it would do its thing. Ooh, getting some really cool kind of veiny stuff here from the purple. The purple's doing amazing. All right, and so you can see that I am getting areas that are pooling and collecting, but essentially you have your three hearts. They're touching and mixing where they are supposed to. And it's a wet on wet technique. Um, yeah. I don't know how I did on time. I think I did this in five minutes. Minus all the talking. What do you guys think? Was that fun? I think that was fun. Wow. What do you think, Bonnie? No. I think Bonnie thinks that, uh, I should stop putting her on video. <laughs> Alrighty, so first five minute mini session, um, we dealt with, you know, a couple of challenges, um, but I am really pleased with that. That's cute. So this is um, something you can do very quick, easy. Uh, you can do this as like the cover of a card um, I don't know if anybody makes their own Valentine's cards anymore, but I do sometimes. Um, or you could let this dry. Um, you can use handy dandy little micron pen or a black permanent marker. Um, write a love note on it, write the word love, write someone's name. I mean, there's so many different like things you can do to take this and elevate it even further. Or I could even, you know, go through and do partial outlines on the hearts. Um, add some doodles to fill the white space, maybe do a border, but yeah, wet on wet technique, watercolor material, and ta-da. Let me know what you think. Also, if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments, um, or if you liked this, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more wet on wet techniques, I can do those as well. Have a great night, and I will see you guys for our next five-minute mini session in February.